Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about ginger during breast cancer treatment. What's known about it? How does it work? And would we recommend it? Before I go on, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content, so there's always something new to watch. I'd also love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized yerba report. So what do we know about ginger? The most we know about ginger and its effectiveness is in helping reduce chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. You know, we're doing a much better job at helping people with nausea and vomiting than we used to with the newer anti-nausea medications that we have. However, we can always do better. And studies have shown that ginger, one to two grams a day, that's very little, added to your food or to a beverage can help reduce chemotherapy-induced nausea, that feeling of queasiness that you have during or after, even persisting between chemotherapy cycles. I wanna encourage you to go to our anti-nausea video, our video about controlling nausea with chemotherapy for much more information. So this is an interesting thing, ginger to help prevent nausea and vomiting from chemotherapy. A few different studies have been done that have pooled all the data, and it's a little contradictory. A very large meta-analysis of 18 studies that takes all the data from all the studies and pools the data together showed that chemotherapy-induced nausea in particular is better, about 30% better in people who take ginger of the quantities I just described, between one, 1 1.5, and two grams a day. Anything we can do to help you feel better during treatment is good. So let's say it cuts the risk by 30% that's still worth something. How does ginger work? Well, it has anti-inflammatory properties and it appears to get to the same area of the brain that triggers nausea from chemotherapy. Nausea is the result of not just the brain, but also the gut being triggered, if you will, and ginger can help relieve that. In terms of its anti-inflammatory properties, while we would certainly not recommend this instead of anti-cancer treatment that your medical team is offering you, in animal models, it looks like ginger may have some anti-cancer properties as well. But the real reason to take it is to reduce your risk of developing nausea from chemotherapy. I hope this has been helpful. There are lots of different ways you can get ginger, whether it's in lozenges or tea, or you can actually get powdered ginger at a health food store. Diagnosed with breast cancer? Meet Yerba, your guide to personalized treatment options. Each option is specifically tailored to the unique characteristics of your tumor. Sign up today at yerba.com to take control of your breast cancer journey. I hope this has been helpful to you. Drop a comment or a question below. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.